And let me do say blessed love to each and every one. Shalom. In righteous name. Haile Selassie the first, Kadamawi. This is the Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. And I will be bringing to you a new series, a series of programs, just about four or five short programs, where we will be establishing officially the challenge to the international community. This challenge surrounds our newly launched ebook, The True Biblical Land of Israel. Now, this program, which is prepared for the internet, this one that you're listening to now is entitled Priest Isaac um, Challenges the Jewish Community Officially. And let me just say before I go any further that again the challenge is directly around the concept of the true biblical land of Israel. I'm going to take some time in this first episode of the short series to explain the reason for such a challenge and why it is necessary. And uh, this is, as you know, I have just completed the book, The True Biblical Land of Israel. Several years ago, I wrote The Biblical Land of Israel, which was a theological paper that I prepared and transformed into book form. I've done the same, but of course the information is slightly different and uh, re-edited and revised and revisited and it is now officially in ebook fashion in ebook formation pdf now the concept the theory behind the concept the theory behind the book the paper that was written is that the land of israel according to the geographical description given in the Bible is all of Africa plus Arabia and also that the true Israelites are the melanated people of the planet with the woolly hair now the first part of that theory being that the land of Africa and Arabia is the land of Israel according to and this is a part of it very important according to the description given in the Bible and that aspect of the the theory is what we lean the most upon so several years ago when we wrote the first book we issued a challenge to the international community and not just via word of mouth we actually sent out hundreds of emails to many different organizations i mean um, churchical organizations churches um, bible schools we sent out the challenge to universities jewish universities we specified professors uh, we sent out the challenge to the hebrew israelite community internationally um, the nation of islam as i even told you before even brother td jakes got his invitation in his hand in saint lucia um, you know, so we really sent the challenge out and we also sent out a media, uh, a media word in the sense that to show the media internationally again, from CNN down to our local news, that we have issued the challenge to the international community in brackets, basically. And we would like even some level of exposure on your platform 
to speak about this challenge. Okay. Now, before I even read the the new you know challenge that I have established, and it's quite short, let me just say, at least from my whole, you know, from my heart, the reason why, as you know. I am not a confrontational sort of person. I try. I could have been, you know. I mean, there are many people that try to confront me on different aspects, and uh, you know, salvation now is a very serious thing. Religion is a very serious thing, and God and belief and all of these things. And listen to this now. Politics is a very serious thing too. Now, I am saying, my brothers and sisters, this is my passion here. I read the Bible and I am saying, and I've been saying this for a very long time, over 20 years, that when we read the Bible, the description given in the Bible is not the description at all, in no form or fashion for the land of Israel being in Palestine. Now, the reason why I put it in book about 10 years ago, book form, is because I noticed that no one could deny this, but everyone was just kind of tiptoeing around it as if they didn't hear me. So I published it. And I noticed 10 years after, people are still doing the same. Now, not because this video is entitled um, The Challenge to the Jews, you know. We will be challenging everyone. I titled it that because I've already sent out via email the challenge to specific aspects of the Jewish community. So I'm just letting you know what I've done thus far. So when I come with the video entitled The Challenge to the Islamic Community, I will, I will come with the list of the, the Islamic individuals or communities or establishments that I've sent the challenge to. And that is coming soon. I'll be challenging Rastafari as well. In a sense, this is not our inner sense. In a sense, this is not really a Rastafari concept. They're those that, you know, even if they, um, they may not say they disagree, but they don't agree. That's just the thing. What I'm saying, you know, my brothers and sisters, this is also the reality check for some of us. It is sad that we, you know, we don't acknowledge our own. That is really sad. That, that's the worst part of it. You understand? And I'm telling you, you could, you could search high and low. You'll never find no one else. You know, you'll hear people say, well, yeah, black people are the true Israelites. And um, you, know, you might hear one or two people saying, you know, Africans are the Israeli and the Israelites, pardon me, because Israeli are two different people and than the Israelites for sure. But as far as taking the scripture now and breaking it down in clarity to show without a shadow of a doubt that the land of Africa that we know as Africa plus Arabia which is really Africa really you know that's the point is the promised land of the people that God loves so much that you see inside of the Bible this is a, a different thing it's not duplicated anywhere else what I am bringing here is not something I'm getting second hand it is my own observation not wrong don't get me wrong. Listen, get, listen good. That's what life is about. Everything you see around you, it's somebody that, you know, sparked it in their mind and brought it forth to reality. But then now, the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. You know. My official book, I even presented it, the Honorable um, <laughs> Minister Farrakhan, he also got a, a copy of the book that I... I officially wrote this new in this new ebook I have not sent it as yet but he visited Antigua and he got a copy of the book Anu and the copy of the book the biblical land of Israel 
the one that was written prior um, approximately 10 years ago. I'm just showing you. Listen to me, good, my brothers and sisters. The concept is undeniable from the biblical point of view. And I will always say it is not an argument about if the Bible is true uh, or if the Bible was written by King James or if it was translated from Egyptian scrolls. That's not the argument. We can talk about that at another time or any time, but that's not the argument. As I always say, even if the Bible was written by Mother Goose, that's not the argument. The argument is, and it's not even an argument, the reasoning is that the Bible as we know it, again, when it speaks of the land of Israel, it is talking of Africa plus Arabia. And as ones would tell me, when they see that my point is clear, they always say, all right, let's suppose you are right. So what? Ah, trust me, you don't want to say that to me. Ah, there you go. So what? No, let me tell you, so what? You see, if my theory is correct, the whole narrative would change everything will change because <laughs> as I said Christ was born in Bethlehem isn't it so but Bethlehem is not the Bethlehem that you know today hmm all right all of these comedic kings and, and statues and, and and artifacts that we're digging up you have to put a different twist on them. How do they really relate to the biblical story? <laughs> yeah, all of these different things have to come into play. Because now the land of Africa would become the landscape of your biblical story. And then you will understand why the, the people in West Africa, as some of you would say, have Hebrew names and practice the Hebrew culture. The homo and all of these different things. Instead of trying to guess how it got there. You see me. And then there's another aspect to this. For the evangelists on the television. I see it all the time. We're going to Israel next week. And we're going to go to the place where the Messiah was born. If you cannot come, just send us a donation. And I mean, you know, so there we go again. I mean, they're doing what they're doing. But that is falsehood. That is not no promised land that was written up in the Bible. And what I'm saying is, I have literally put this now in ebook form. And I'm going to read to you the official challenge, which is at the, the back of the book. So when the book is completed, you have the challenge. And the challenge reads as follows. The Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge. My email. To whom it may concern. Blessed love to you and yours. I have revised a previously written theological paper and have transformed it into an ebook entitled The True Biblical Land of Israel. The primary theory of this paper slash book is that the land of Israel as geographically described in the Bible is not Palestine but all of Africa plus Arabia. The secondary theory is that the true biblical Israelites are the melanated people of the planet that has the woolly type of hair, black people, the original Africans. I am issuing a challenge to all who disagree with my findings to prove otherwise. This is a cordial challenge of concern as our international society has been led to believe that Palestine is the biblical promised land and that the modern day Israeli people 
are the people of the book. I have utilized the Bible as the main point of reference to prove my point, which has both religious and political ramifications. If you contend with my premise, please feel free to accept my challenge. You can respond using any avenue of your choice. I am humbly awaiting your response. So, and that's me, Honorable Priest Isaac. Um, so, as you see there, it's a cordial challenge because it's touching. Some of you, my, my, my brothers and sisters would be saying, you know, we're not into this religious thing. This is not religion. We're not into this religious stuff. What do you mean it's not religion? It's the Bible. We're not into that. We need to deal with food, clothes, and shelter. Our people are dying in the streets. But hold on, brother. No, no, tell me nothing. You know, our sisters are, 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 are having abortions daily. You know, well, we speak about that. Well, you need to speak more. Don't put no energy into this sort of stuff. Hmm? Our government, do you know how much money they give to Israel every year? Hold on. Say that again. Do you know how much money our taxpayers' money goes to Israel every year? There you go. There you go. Which Israel? You mean Tel Aviv and from Dan to Beersheba and Jerusalem and Bethlehem and the Wailing Wall and Solomon's Temple, the Ashkenazi. This is what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So this is why this challenge, I've issued the challenge and I've sent via email a copy of my book, which includes the challenge to the Jewish Federation of North America. I've sent a copy of my book with the challenge to the American Jewish University. Isn't to me good? I've sent a copy of my book also to the Harvest Bible University and Central um, College, Central B College as well. These are Bible schools and these are just, uh, no, no, also Crossroads Bible College. So these are just five institutions thus far. I've just begun. This is not a day's work thus far that we have methodically chosen universities and Jewish organizations that we have chosen, you know, intellectual organizations, organizations of critical thinking that we have chosen to send our, our theological paper to via email. And it includes the challenge that I just read for you. Because when you say now, this is a religious argument, this is politics too. This is politics. The Israel that you have today didn't jump out of the Bible. It was constructed in the halls of the United Nations. And even prior to that, you, and I speak of all of this in my book. Huh? I, I, I cite the Balfour um, Declaration and, and all my sources are right there in the book. So although the Bible obviously is the primary um, source as such, we also go into some other international records, historical records to prove our point. So as I said, I'll be issuing more um, challenges as such. I'll be, I'll be emailing the challenge to other organizations within the realms of the Jewish community. I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to come and read all of them to you. I just might give you an idea. But when we come again, I will be highlighting the next organization. It's not always religion, man. I'm going to be issuing the challenge um, to to the, the presidents and prime ministers of the world. So once I could get their email address, or at least very close to them, whether it be chief of staff or permanent secretary or whoever, 
I will get it to them. Of course, the ministers here in Antigua, I will be emailing the book plus the challenge to them as well. You know, because it's something you see, you have to keep in mind our people swear on this. I'm talking of the Bible. And the Bible is the holy word of God. And the Bible is the truth, and no one can deny it. Fair enough, and within it, within the text, and I've highlighted this in my book, The Biblical Land of Israel, within the text, I prove, and I'm going to repeat without a shadow of a doubt, undeniable, that the land of Israel is not Palestine. No, can't be doubt, can't be proven. And I'm not going to try to prove it here, you know. I've done other videos where, you know, I obviously go in and I know you can check them right there on my channel. And I think I've given enough evidence. Nobody can even deny the little that I put out. And it's in book form now, ebook. So I'm inviting all of you to get a copy. All of you that are listening, get a copy of the, the true biblical land of Israel. It's one of our easy to read books. It may appear light, but it is obviously extremely heavy. The, 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 the email is priestisaac27 at gmail.com or you can contact via phone or WhatsApp and, or, or, or message, text, and of course, request to purchase your copy of the brand new ebook, The True Biblical Land of Israel. And also, while you're at it, if you have not, you should purchase also Anu, Ancient and Modern Revisited. So the challenge is officially out. As I said, up next, we'll be also issuing the challenge to the Hebrew Israelites officially. So we'll be sending out the email, the books, by email to some of the different camps internationally. Um, last time we only sent um, the challenge to the Benami community with love. You know, we love so much. Um, but this time around, we see a lot of letters jumping up in our faces of our late. So we will take the chance now to, to respond to them officially. All the different, you know what I mean, different camps we will be definitely sending out the book plus the challenge. So we don't have to be making noise now. We can intellectually sit down and reason it out. And let's just see what go on, you know? So give thanks, you know? <laughs> Hear this now. This might sound like a joke to you. Uh, this is a real funny one. If you know your Bible and you do not know your history, yeah, knowledge of the bible will surely become a, a mystery and remember it takes some realize to realize the realize that are amongst us yes so definitely i'm looking forward to you send me an email obviously you should send me the email that's the key because it's through the email i'm going to send the book to you so definitely holy money will i slassia ja ras tafari Alafia to each and every one. Salam ta and blessed love. Honorable Priest Isaac here. It is with great joy that I am happy to announce to you that I have officially released my first ebook, Anu Ancient and Modern Revisited. This is the continuation process of our easy to read books. Within the pages of Anu Ancient and Modern Revisited, we take the time to show you the spiritual connection with the island of Antigua and Heliopolis in Kemet in Egypt, with the island of Antigua and the legendary continent of Atlantis. We also highlight Green Castle Hill, also known as Mount Anu, which is known as the Stonehenge of the Caribbean with the countless of megaliths that align with the movements of the heavens. This is a must read for all those who are students of the esoteric realms, astronomy, geology, and ancient sites. 
of course to get a copy of your book all you have to do is to contact us at area code 1268 728 call text or even whatsapp or you can email us at priestisaac27 at gmail.com to get a copy of your ebook and ancient and modern it is an easy to read book it may appear light but it is extremely heavy The individuals now, you see the knights uh, on the side of the steps, they are lying on the side of the steps, and Haile Selassie and the Queen's mother comes out. Now you will notice that they don't have on their hats. Is it because it's very windy? No, nah, this is not how this goes at all, my brothers and sisters. This is ceremony, and this is an order. Only the the women have on their hats. You can see the queen and the queen's mother with their hats. And I'm looking good. You will see that obviously the the real knights, the soldiers, them in the armor, the armored knights, I should say, in them old time Roman armored vibes, have on their head, their headpiece. Now you will notice that as soon as Haile Selassie I puts on his headpiece, check it, it is only when Haile Selassie I put on his headpiece, you could see the guards in the back putting on their headpiece. Look at that. Nothing here is by mistake. This is not just happening by chance. The knights cannot put on their hats. Prince Charles doesn't put on his hat. In fact, it is when Prince Charles enters the buggy that you see Prince Charles put his hat on his head. And then they roll out. Now what is happening here? Greater than Solomon is here. You may not see that, but they understand what's going on. So this is why I'm saying that even from the time of, of the, the King Edward III, and that third is very mystic, King Edward and his son, the Black Prince, the Black Prince, Prince Edwards, the Black Prince, Prince Edwards, the Prince of Wales, interesting language. And now the current Prince of Wales is Prince Charles, Prince Charles, Edwards, Charles Edwards, the, the Black Queen. The <laughs> what is this? Don't play around with Blessed love, my family, give thanks for your presence. At this moment, we are on a mission seeking for real partners. We are establishing a real partnership in this what we consider a real war. Let me be clear from the onset, we will be speaking of finance. This is not a word to everyone. This is primarily for those who appreciate the works that we do, those who love the mission that we are on, not appreciate hate, which means to magnify the hate, but appreciate love, magnify the love. As most of you would know, one of our videos on YouTube was taken down a few weeks ago. That left us with a strike against our channel and a handful of restrictions for us to go over. 
Many people has literally told us in the past that you should monetize your channel. Now to be very clear, I have no intention, neither did I have any passion whatsoever to do that. But even if I did, that is something that was never possible and is not possible now because of the restrictions number one that cannot be done and then again even without the restrictions it was already restricted in the region that i am in where i live so radio anu was also taken down a few days after and within a few days it also came back up as you also know unlike many other channels we do not make it a habit or even a part of our business at all to ask for any donations or contributions this also is for several reasons number one as we have expressed in the past we honestly don't think that we should ask for such from an audience that can see the work that we are doing number two even in the past, after being encouraged by others to solicit donations and con contributions, we established the PayPal system. Those of you who have attempted to contribute via that PayPal know for sure that it never worked. There was always an issue. Email and Facebook shut down several times plus other things behind the scenes that i would not even mention here no patreon and being ostracized from the executive youtube club i am sincerely asking you those of you who admire and appreciate the work that we do to assist us in this venture of uplifting our people physical soul and mind i am not asking you to contribute and i am not asking you for any donation i am just asking you to patronize you know we have begun to create a series of ebooks from anu ancient and modern revisited to the ebook the true biblical land of israel of course, our children books like the great kings and queens of Africa. You know, we have our video lecture series. We also have our DVD documentaries from the Master of Ceremony 7 and the Night of the Black Tiger. You also know as it relates to Radio Anu, there's a monthly subscription where you literally get the programs that are done nightly on the shock of the hour of course on one level you will be assisting myself as i am also assisting you it is just a genuine and justified exchange of goods and services now there's much much more behind the scenes that i care not to say on this medium now i have no criminal record well known and accepted in my community but it seems like there's something coming out of my mouth that is a bother to some and i'm not cursing and there's no guile coming from between my teeth just what i consider to be the truth my brothers and sisters who love me and love the work as i love you as well i'm being very straight we're on the battlefield so i'm asking you to partner with me to assist me on the battlefield we're not asking for anything as contributions and donations we are asking you to patronize what we have to offer give thanks obviously there would be a reason why we ask so you could email me Patrice Isaac 27 at gmail.com and I'll give you more information.
I am looking forward to hear from you. Salamta.